why does the resource-rich Arab economies need special institutions? And I would say is because they are in a situation that could turn, I think it's, there's a very volatile, the oil market we know is very volatile, there are lots of other risks that could arise in terms of conflicts in the region, natural disasters. Uh, so it could well be that uh, reserves that countries have could be run down very quickly and countries that are in surplus could go into very large deficits very quickly. And I think uh, what they need to do is think, they have to be ahead of time to think about other ways of collecting taxes because they're going to need governments to solve the problems of the day, even after oil or after or during a crisis. And the best time to do it is when things aren't too bad. So you can start a little, at least start a tax base, do it well before people are get too upset about conditions are so bad that they can't pay uh, some taxes, uh, non-oil taxes, as should be the case, so they can depend on the revenues of the government and the services the government can provide can depend on things other than oil, because oil won't always be there and the price can come down.